Hi there, Corner Shop is going to move underneath Uber Eats this summer. In this video, I'm going to tell you why in general you should care about when companies merge, but in this case, I'm going to tell you why it's not that big a deal. Hi everyone, my name is Russ and welcome to my channel. On my channel, I give you tips on how to improve both your earnings and ratings as primarily a food delivery driver. Today's Friday, the 8th of July. Yesterday, I got an email from Corner Shop sharing that they're going to merge underneath Uber Eats. Why is this a big deal? Well, in general, for food delivery companies, when they're merging, all that's going to do is take away opportunities to earn for multi-appers, which you really should be out multi-apping. Today, I happened to be out and I made money from Grubhub, Amazon Flex, and Uber Eats. Day's not done and I'll still make more. If I was relying on just one app, who knows, maybe I'd make a lot and maybe not. But there have been times where different apps are slow and by multi-apping, you have an opportunity to make more money because you can get orders. So in general, this is a bad thing when the companies buy each other out or merge. In this case though, Corner Shop is already owned by Uber and they were just operating them off to the side, but now they're just bringing them under the umbrella of the Uber Eats brand, which is gonna be a negative thing, but it's not gonna really matter for us because we have no choice. Think about that, right? We have no choice. The companies are gonna do what they wanna do and we can choose to work for them or not. So just to give you some specifics from the email here, it talks about um, will your earnings plan change for Corner Shop going under Uber Eats? And it says basically you're just gonna get that same upfront request showing the potential earnings and you can choose to take it or not. One thing that you do need to do right now if you're on Corner Shop and you don't have the Uber Eats pay card, you need to get the Uber Plus card and do that in the Uber Eats app. If you open up your Uber Eats app, and I'll step through here really quick. If you go into your account, and then right there, it's the one, two, three, it's the fourth one down after your vehicle. It says plus card. Click on that, and then from here, you can apply, and you'll put, you'll uh, verify your address, put your address in there, and then uh, they'll send your card, and it'll say, your card is on the way, and it'll take a few days to get there. So do that now before the merge. You know, previously I did not apply for that card because I didn't want to be doing shopping on a food delivery app. I had experience with that with uh, DoorDash doing the shopping orders as well as just restaurant delivery. And so at the time I was purposely not doing that on Uber Eats. But now with Corner Shop merging, we're going to be kind of forced into that. And so be it. You know, I wonder, are they going to have a way of filtering, just like on the Uber app? You can either do ride share or food delivery. Are they going to have a toggle to where we can say, I only want to do restaurant deliveries or I only want to do shopping? I hope so. That would really be a nice feature. So that's something to consider Uber Eats if you're listening. Please give us the option to not be forced into doing all orders and have it count against us. Other than that, um, you know, <laughs> it says here, will I still have Psalm slash support? And Uber talks about, you'll have access to Uber's support teams for any questions about your Uber account or any orders completed with the Uber platform. Live order management like Psalm's on the Corner Shop, Corner Shop Shopper app will not be immediately available. So pretty much you're on your own. And I don't know about you, but generally anytime I call support from one of the gig app companies, it's not very supportive. But anyway, I'll just leave it at that. So in this case, we really have no choice in the matter. And Uber already owns Corner Shop, so they're going to merge them into their platform. So until in my area, I don't know how it is for you, until mid-August, I'll have access to Corner Shop separately, and then it's going to merge. So that is some exciting news. There will be pluses and minuses. And again, we really have no choice. But in general, what do you think about when these different companies buy each other out? Is it a good thing? 
Is it a bad thing? It could just be market dynamics. You know, companies either stay in business or they go out of business and they hire or they don't hire. Just like us as independent contractors, we can choose to work for a company or not. If you're getting value out of this video so far, please go click the like button. And if you do, I'll show you some quick footage of me doing a variety of drop-offs today in a rapid manner earning that money. Did you click it yet? You know, one good thing about that is it helps make the video popular and then it can show it to more people and get the word out about how Corner Shop is now going under Uber Eats. All right, thank you very much for clicking the like button and here's that footage. Whoa, I have an order. This is kind of cool. You know what, I'm just gonna do it sight unseen. So for rideshare, you wanna definitely have a dash cam. It keeps people on their best behavior and it documents everything that goes on in the car. It's for your protection and the passenger. On Amazon, they do sell stickers and I happen to laminate mine and you wanna notify people, especially in California, we're a two-party consent state, and it's not that big a deal. I used to have that connected with a piece of Velcro. And then on my headliner, I took some Velcro, as you can see there, and it just sticks up there. That way people from the back seat can easily see it. Hey everybody, and welcome back. I just finished that corner shop order. I'm very glad, you know what, it's been months since I've done one, and right now I made $40. The estimate was 53, so I'm assuming there's a $13 tip in there that I'll see in a day or two. So $53, the order took me a total of an hour and 15 minutes. That's nothing. And the miles weren't that much either. I'd have to figure it out, but I would say less than, less than 20, maybe 15 miles. So corner shop orders do pay well. I'm very glad for that. Uh, sadly, they're just not very popular in my market. Um, they do happen to come out or they send notices at like 10 at night, but that's past my bedtime, so I don't do those. I wanted to clarify, I don't think I clearly mentioned when food delivery companies or shopping companies combine, what that does is it gives us less opportunities to multi-app. We're always at risk of deactivation, so the more platforms we can be on, the better. That way, if you get kicked off of DoorDash, like what happened to me, I can immediately go into Grubhub, Uber Eats, Instacart. But if all these companies are buying each other out or merging, then that limits our opportunities and then we're more at risk of deactivation. So that's definitely not a good thing when it comes to all the opportunities decreasing when companies buy each other out. In this case of corner shop going under Uber Eats, um, that's fine. That's unavoidable and we're not gonna be able to really um, change anything with that anyway. And something to keep in mind, how often do you really contact the Psalm? You know, that specialist that works for the company that helps you um, in corner shop? I've only done it once and that's when I first started and I didn't feel the need to do it today. I do think that Instacart's app is better, but again, that's not gonna change anything. I don't need any help from Instacart when I'm shopping, and pretty much I would say we don't need the help either from Corner Shop. So yes, if you do have to contact customer support afterwards, that's gonna be a challenge with all those companies, and I don't envy you if you have to do that. But just try to be calm, be factual, and be very clear on what happened and what kind of help you need. And that'll help you out in the long term. But, you know, I don't think it's really going to matter too much. The email they sent was informative, and you can tell that they're going to do it anyway. And so it's best just to recognize that, take the steps that we need to be good independent contractors, you know, get that card from Uber Eats so that you can shop and you just move on. So that's what I'm gonna do. 
So please share, how has Corner Shop been in your area? And I really wonder, how is it gonna be when Uber Eats rolls them under their program? I remember for Postmates, there were so many orders just on Postmates. And then when Uber Eats took over, it seems like those orders went away. But you could say it was because of the pandemic. Who knows, that was a lot of orders that seemed to disappear. Anyway, I've talked long enough. Stay safe out there and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.